Um, I did what I could with this thing. And you are, you're going to have tap. There's just no way around that. But it's in a lot better shape it was in. There's a little oil stain there. You know, your blade actually looks like a normal acid etch blade now. Um, being that far out of whack up there, I mean, I sanded it as much as I could. It's just not. I was trying to selectively slam the parts that selectively sand the parts that needed sanded only. But naturally, through doing so, the parts that didn't need sand were getting sanded a little bit as well. I got it within two thousandths of each other, top and bottom thickness. Um, you're swinging good. Um, you do have tap on both handles. But you actually got sound and it's decently flippable. So here's a little sound check for you. Um, for the viewers that might be curious, previous owner sanded the blade to acid wash it for some reason. Um, and they just stopped right, it, it was just a very bad acid wash, but they, when they sanded it, they had excessive pressure here and excessive pressure here. Here wrecked the tang tolerances. So top half of a bushing hole was literally 3,000 thicker than the top. So if you do the if you if you crank this, you get you get swing until it goes to right here, and then it binds. So I did what I could and made it at least flippable without being massively fucked. There's a good bit of play, but it's flippable. Um, this is a clone Alpha Beast.